In this session, we will see how to load the data from file to a table. For as an example, I have a file with all 14 records. It is a EMP file and the file is a comma separated, which is nothing but a CSV file. So we will see how to load the data from CSV file to a Snowflake table. How to create the job in talent. Let's see step by step process. So first here, whenever we are having flat files, then we will be using file delimited option to import the file. So I'm creating a metadata, which is for importing the CSV file. Create file delimited. Name of the file is, I'm providing it as employee, EMP, L-O-Y-E-E. And click on next and here we need to browse the file where exactly it is available. My file is available in my D drive and the file name is EMP. Click on open. Yes. And here you can see as an option, what is the file separated, field separated, sorry. So in this file, every field is separated with comma. So now drop down and select comma. Yes, and uh, I want to set uh, columns and rows separately. The first one is always a column heading for me. So now set heading row as column name. That means first row as column name I want to set. Yes, refresh. Now you see how it appears. It takes a couple of seconds to get the preview. Yes, you can see. First row is appeared as a column name and rest of the rows are appeared as a data. As we selected comma, each and every column is separated as a, each and every column is separated now. Click on next. <coughs> Click on finish. Okay. Now I am creating a job. Create a standard job and the job name is File to Snowflake table. I'm loading the data from a file to a Snowflake table. Click on finish. And here in my earlier class, in our earlier session, I mean, we have seen how to create the Snowflake connection already. So I have created a Snowflake connection and I have the table ready, already available. Okay, now here, right now, a file delimited under, under file delimited, we have already imported the employee. So now we created a job which is called file to snowflake table. Now I'm pulling my source table, which is called employee. From employee table, so I'm taking T5 input delimited. Yes. Now this is my source file. Now cross check how the data type of each column is appeared. Click on edit schema. Click on edit schema. Change to built-in property. Okay. Here if you see employee number is an integer, e name is a string. Okay. But if you see high date is appeared as a string, but this is a date data type which has the values as mm dd yy hours minutes format now let us provide that change the height date data type as date and provide the format uh, this is a default format which we got but right now we are using mm slash td slash yyyy and uh, hours colon minutes so this is a format Always we have to select this format based on the value how it is available in your CSV file. Okay. MMDD. How can we confirm this is a date? Because you can see here I have 22, which is called date. So MMDD, YYYY, HH, minutes, hours, and minutes. So the same way I have selected the format. Now this is looking good. Now I need to load this employee data into a Snowflake connection table. So here I have the table, pull this table. 
and I'm selecting the output snowflake. Right click here, row main. Yes. Now in the target option, I want to truncate the table before inserting the target action. Table action, I'm selecting it as truncate and output action, I'm selecting as a insert. Rest of all the option, I don't want to change. I want to utilize the connection details which are available at the repository. That was the reason I'm not changing the repository. Property type as repository still I'm using so that whatever the connections available in this Snowflake repository, I'm using the same connection details. And I have changed the option table action as truncate and insert. That means before inserting the data from employee to snow EMP, it will truncate the table. Then it will insert whatever the rows available in EMP. Okay. Now save this job and click on run. Run this. It will take a couple of seconds to start the job. Yes, it started. It will fetch the 14 rows. It has added out, it is added out. MMDDYY. What is the date format we selected? Edit schema, change in build property. Oh, the date format has changed. Let me change this back. Admin slash dd slash yyyy. MMDD, MMDD, yy. Yes. Save this. Run this now. So why? Because my input value format is MMDDYY. So that was the reason always the date format we need to specify the same format how the value is available here. My value is in this format. So I need to specify the same format else it will throw error. Yes. Now it is fetching all 14 rows. It will take a couple of seconds. Yes, it's connected. Successfully, it is completed. Now you can see it has all 14 row parts. And uh, let me truncate the table and run more, more time. Truncate the table so that we want to make sure the data is loaded. Now you see there is no data available in this table. There is no data available in this table. Let me run this job one more time and confirm. Started. It will take a couple of seconds. It started fetching the data, yes. Now it will insert the data into the target table. Yes. Now, just cross check. Yes, it has inserted all 14 records. I hope this will be helpful, thank you.